You know what's funny? It seems that every day now we're getting a leak for the new 2D Sonic game, yet we've never even seen anything about it. But the leaks still keep on coming. Could you not be yourself? For five minutes! But I really do understand, because the prospect of a new 2D Sonic game sounds really interesting. After all, we haven't had one in a while, ever since Sonic Mania. And while Sonic Mania was really good, I think we're all waiting to see more at this point. The 2D Sonic games always had a level of consistent quality to them that sometimes just wasn't present from the mainline games at the time, especially during the 2000s. And not only that, but a 2D Sonic game could fix the massive issue that we've been having with this franchise lately, that being the lack of originality in the series' locations. The 2D Sonic games have always had unique and colorful locations, and I think that's what's been sorely missing from the mainline games right now. But with Christian Whitehead no longer having open relations with Sega, the likelihood of us getting a new classic-style 2D Sonic game are getting a bit lower. But if that's the case, what should this new 2D Sonic game take after? So that's what I'm trying to answer in this video. Starting off with the tried-and-true classic Sonic gameplay. Now, the classic Sonic gameplay has been used in Sonic 1, 2, 3, CD, Sonic 4, ah, uh, no, not that one, and Sonic Mania. Now, the classic Sonic style of gameplay has a pretty defined format, with a blend of platforming and speed that's truly unique for the time and still continues to be unique to this day. I really do love the classic Sonic games, except for that one. But the problem is, now that after Origins, the people who made Sonic Mania originally don't seem to be around and aren't too excited to work on a new 2D Sonic game, at least from what we've heard. And we all know what happened last time Sega themselves tried to replicate classic Sonic gameplay. Not only that, but Classic Sonic has been in almost every piece of Sonic media for the last while. Ever since Sonic Generations, have been bringing back a ton, and I think people are getting a little bit tired at this point. So maybe it is time to move on to something a bit more original. Plus, if Sega really wanted to make a Sonic Mania 2, I think by now the time has already long passed. And while making this new 2D Sonic game a classic game would probably be the safest bet for Sega, I just don't think they're going to do it. I think they might go with something a little bit more ambitious. And while obviously I don't hate Classic Sonic, I'm really in favor of this decision, because I'm all for originality. And I think a more modern style 2D game would allow them to stretch their wings a bit more. Now, ever since Sega went multi-platform, they had more opportunities to work on handhelds other than the Game Gear. And do that they did, because for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, they released the Sonic Advance series. I hear a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for the Sonic Advance series, but I never actually got to play it back in the day due to never owning a Game Boy Advance. So I can't speak for much experience, but I have played the first Sonic Advance game and I did kind of enjoy it. By the end of the game, I think it got a little bit too heavy on the bottomless pits and the level design got a little bit challenging and unfair in some areas, but overall I thought it was a pretty solid game. Now obviously I haven't played the other two Advance games, so my comments on this style of gameplay are only going to be informed by my playthrough of the first game. What the Advance games bring to the table is a classic Sonic experience that's more focused on speed rather than precise platforming and using your momentum. While that element is still there, it's more focused on going fast and having good reaction time, which is my preferred style of Sonic gameplay, and I think it works pretty well here. Plus, being a more modernized style of Sonic, I think they could lend themselves really well and create some unique looking locations. As well as that, having a modern style upgrade to the visuals in this game could do them wonders, as it would no longer be stranded on a Game Boy Advance. Plus, a new Advance style game could mix and match some of the gimmicks introduced in the other ones, like the boost mode from Advance 2, and even mixing and matching characters like in Sonic Advance 3. A new Sonic Advance style game could go pretty hard, and I'd totally get behind it. But it's not exactly the one I want the most. Now, the Sonic Rush duology, technically trilogy, and even quadrilogy if you wanted to go there, is easily one of Sonic's most underrated miniseries. The first two Sonic Rush games are truly great. I love the original and Sonic Rush Adventure as well, just as much. I think they're both great games, and Sonic Colors DS is pretty great too. Some think it's better than the original. I don't tend to agree with that, because I really do love the original Sonic Colors, but it's still a great game nonetheless. What makes the Sonic Rush series so special is its unique combination of beautiful level themes, great music, and stylish with fast-paced gameplay. It's really everything I would want from a Sonic game, and it's something that's been sorely missing from the series in recent memory. Even if Frontiers was a good game, which it was, I still think the signature style has been a bit lost in recent years, and I think a new 2D modern style Sonic Rush game could go really well to bring that back. They could even do this new title in multiple ways. They could take it the Sonic Generations 3DS route and make it look more modern, or they could go for an HD 2D art style like seen in games like Octopath Traveler. And while we would be losing out on the two-screen gimmick from the DS days, 
I still think it can really work, as shown by Gen's 3DS. Sonic Rush in general has always had this appealing gameplay style, where doing tricks would fill up your boost meter, and it added a really important element to the boost games, which is boost management, which I feel hasn't really been present. The most that's been present is saving your boost wisp in Sonic Colors, but other than that, I don't think boost management has ever really been a priority in these games. And it's a shame too, because I really want to see these unique mechanics brought to the forefront again. Maybe even use as an inspiration for the next 3D Sonic game. Whatever that may be. In the end, Sonic Rush really just had all the charm that Sonic is missing right now. And I think having a new, modern-style Sonic Rush game could go a long way. It would sell well, it would be pretty popular, I think it would do well critically, and it can help build back the goodwill that Sega seems to have lost with some people. I think it would just be a good all-around endeavor for them, so I really hope it's in the works. And with the pace at which these leaks seem to be coming out, I think it's pretty likely. But who knows? At this point, all we can do is wait. And that's it for me, everyone, signing off.